Welcome to WPI.edu slash listen, your go-to audio news and podcast for all things Worcester Polytechnic Institute. After you've listened in, check out our other episodes and dive deep into the exciting news stories shaping the WPI community. Friday, March 22, 2024. Worcester Polytechnic Institute formally installs Grace J. Wong, Ph.D., as its 17th president. At inauguration ceremony, president outlines vision and announces $18.6 million in philanthropic commitments to university. Worcester, Massachusetts, March 22, 2024. At a formal inauguration ceremony attended by hundreds of faculty, staff, and students, Delegates from more than 30 colleges and universities and learned societies, federal, state, and local dignitaries, and special guests, Grace J. Wong, Ph.D., was formally installed today as the 17th president of Worcester Polytechnic Institute, WPI. WPI is an innovative learning community. Here, our students, faculty, and staff find their people, pursue their passion, and live their purpose, Wong said in her address. With focus, determination, and collective effort, we will achieve a new level of excellence right here at WPI beyond our imagination. An accomplished materials scientist and esteemed leader in higher education, government, and industry, Wong outlined her vision for the university and celebrated the achievements of the campus community. Her comments reflected the theme of her inauguration, impact-driven, honoring tradition, innovating the future. She encouraged the WPI community to build upon the university's proud 159-year history by focusing on providing a transformative STEM education, expanding high-impact research, innovation, and entrepreneurship, and creating an immersive campus experience for students with an emphasis on well-being and belonging. She said with this focus, WPI will become an even more empowering, leading-edge, and inclusive STEM institution where our faculty, students, staff, and alumni across the world push boundaries, explore solutions, and blaze trails in the future. Wong also announced $18.6 million in philanthropic commitments made to WPI in the last two months. The gifts from seven generous alumni and friends of the university include the fourth largest to the university to date and are in support of Beyond These Towers, the campaign for Worcester Polytechnic Institute. The Commitment Support Facilities, WPI's Distinctive Global Projects Program, an endowed professorship, faculty research, and undergraduate scholarships. Mike Abrams, 77, and his wife, Nancy, have made a seven-figure commitment and the fourth-largest gift to the university to date to support future capital projects. Darong Apelion, WPI Provost Emeritus, 1990-1996, and the founding director of the Metals Processing Institute at WPI, and his wife, Sita, have established the Apollyon Family Armenian Project Center Endowment with a seven-figure gift. Steve Vasalo, 93, and his wife, Trey, have made a seven-figure commitment that lays the foundation for the Helen G. Vasalo Distinguished Presidential Professorship, named in memory of Steve's mother, a longtime WPI faculty member. The remaining four gifts will support undergraduate scholarships and a faculty research fund. Before formally installing Wong, Board of Trustees Chair William Fitzgerald, 83, addressed the president and expressed that the WPI community is looking to her leadership with confidence and optimism. The global need for WPI's distinctive STEM education has never been greater. Our immersive student experience, project-based learning, and purpose-driven research provide a strong foundation for you to shepherd WPI into a new era of excellence. Terence Sonofsky, Ph.D., a pioneering and award-winning computational neuroscientist, delivered the keynote address. 
The Francis Crick Chair at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies, Distinguished Professor of Neurobiology at the University of California, San Diego, and winner of the Brain Prize 2024, the world's largest brain research prize, spoke of the potential of artificial intelligence, a field in which WPI has spearheaded research and innovation for more than 50 years. We are in the midst of a cognitive revolution that is enhancing human cognitive power in the same way that human physical power was enhanced by the steam engine in the Industrial Revolution 250 years ago. Speakers representing students, alumni, staff, and faculty offered their greetings to the president. U.S. Senator Edward Markey also addressed Wong and the attendees in a video. We need bold, innovative solutions for generational challenges, and those solutions will come in part from the incredible minds at WPI. Markey said, President Wong knows how the worlds of science, industry, government, philanthropy, higher education, and innovation all intersect, and she knows the partnerships that must be created to advance our society. She embodies the principles that have always defined Worcester Polytechnic Institute and combines them with a modern vision to bring solutions to the challenges facing our commonwealth, our nation, and our world. Worcester Mayor Joseph Petty delivered a message on behalf of the city, highlighting the ways WPI enriches the community and expressing excitement about the possibility of additional collaboration between the university and the city. The ongoing partnership between WPI and the city of Worcester will only be better because of Drive Wong. And WPI will continue to make an impact that extends outside the city limits. Other elected and government leaders were on campus earlier today to help celebrate the inauguration. They included Massachusetts Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll, Worcester City Manager Eric Batista, State Senators Robin Kennedy and Michael Moore, and State Representatives John Mahoney and Kate Donahue. During the inauguration, President Wong awarded the Presidential Medal to Darong Apelion SCD and Judith Nitch 75 P, lead APBD plus C. The Presidential Medal, established in 2001, recognizes individuals who exemplify the technological humanist, an ideal at the core of WPI's educational approach. Apelion, Provost Emeritus and founding director of the Metal Processing Institute at WPI, was honored for his innovative research and entrepreneurship in materials science and engineering. Niche, founder of Niche Engineering Incorporated and the first alumna elected to WPI's Board of Trustees, was recognized for her impactful career and significant role in WPI's sustainable infrastructure. The inauguration featured an investiture ceremony in which Wong was presented with two symbols, WPI's original charter from 1865 and the presidential medallion that features WPI's seal, designed in 1885. Board of Trustees Chair Fitzgerald read a charge formally empowering Wong with the responsibility of leading the institution as its chief executive. While today's inauguration represents a formal installation, Wong assumed her role as president of WPI on April 3, 2023, bringing with her a wealth of experience in academia and industry. WPI students contributed significantly to the pomp and circumstance of today's event. Featured were a mosaic of Rubik's Cubes created by WPI's Rubik's Cube Club, an original music piece composed by a student and performed by WPI's Brass Ensemble, and a podium floral arrangement made of Lego pieces that was produced by WPI's Lego Club. The investiture ceremony was bookended by other inaugural activities on campus. Earlier in the day, the university welcomed guests for tours of campus and its laboratories, exhibits on university history, and a showcase of student projects and faculty research. The day's events will conclude this evening with a community event at the Sports and Recreation Center featuring dancing and music following a reception for Wong at the Rubin Campus Center.